another video. So another video, another car, another catering. <laughs> so today I'm behind the wheel at the 420R, taking a two hour, very early morning drive down to Eastbourne to head to where I am now, Bingy Head. So really kind of, well firstly taking a car somewhere I haven't taken a car before. And uh, obviously the roads down here are lovely as well, which is always a bonus. the weather's on my side it's been a funny week of weather in the UK where kind of thunderstorms have been threatened so when I knew that I had this car booked in I was a bit worried they would be able to get the chance to drive it but fortunately the weather's on our side as per usual when I get a caterer and we can enjoy some dry roads close to it is the same colour as an ambulance and that doesn't kind of give off two good signals when you're trying to drive this car properly <laughs> but um, I suppose at least people see you on the road which is helpful but so this car's running 210 brake horsepower with a 2 litre engine so same size engine as a 620S but not supercharged um, and I think that does make a lot of difference you can obviously tell difference in power and obviously the, the instant power from the 620s to this but at the same time it's almost quite a nice power because when it's dry and you kind of want that momentum you can put your foot down and it doesn't kind of slide out too much if you're kind of already in kind of third at like 40 mile an hour and I think with the 620s it would almost slip out in any gear it doesn't really matter what it was because it's just such a ridiculous beast but with this it's like it's a bit toned back but at the same time, it's not boring, which is pretty much perfect. I personally think that if you were looking at getting a road going caterer and you wanted something that was fun, but not too crazy that you couldn't properly drive it on the road, this is probably perfect. I mean, I haven't driven a 360 on the road and I'm sure that they'd give off the same experience if it was a 360R. But um, yeah, with the 420R, it just seems to be almost perfectly balanced very stiff ride still got the bucket seats which are heated which was lovely this morning <laughs> it wasn't too warm this morning when I left the house but if I'm honest since the last clip of me talking about this now it must be about 
a good 20 degrees because I'm absolutely roasting in here now. I mean, obviously the heat from the engine plays a part in the heat, but the sun being out today, I think, yeah, it's almost like summer again. <laughs> there I say it. One thing to touch on slightly, the kind of partial reason I have the 420R this week is because I was supposed to have the 420 Cup and that car I just cannot wait to get behind the wheel of. I think that's just going to be a completely different animal in terms of the way it drives, the sequential gearbox and I think everything characteristically wise about that car with full roll cage, no windscreen, is going to feel probably as raw as you can get from a car. And if it has any sort of performance and experience in the 620S and the 170R combined, if that makes sense in a weird way because I didn't have the windscreen, it's just going to be absolutely crazy and I cannot wait to get behind the wheel of that. So the next video will be the 420 Cup, so definitely stay tuned for that one because, I mean, even I'm excited to film that, so got to try and come up with a cunning plan to take it to an ideal road where I can really let it loose. <laughs> so to conclude the video I'm going to head to probably my favourite hot chocolate spot that's just above Seaford. Giving away all my tips recently, favourite bakery, favourite hot chocolate shop. I'm going to make them too popular. <laughs> no joking, my videos don't do that well. But um, yeah, I'm going to head there now the kind of day I've had with this car, really. So, we're concluding another catering video. Don't think I'll ever get bored of filming a catering video, even if it's a short one like today's. Um, I know that I probably haven't got anywhere near into depth about the car or kind of not even too much kind of b-roll or driving footage but um, I kind of wanted to put something out there if not like even if it was a minute video um, just to kind of more of a memory really just to, to remember that I've driven a 420R now um, obviously also the 620S it was always going to be tough to compete from any perspective even if it was a Ferrari or anything in terms of the kind of driving experience but it's really lived up to expectations to be honest I think Obviously it's the step down from 620S and a step up from the 360. So it's one of those things where it's like you have to compare the differences. And I think you really do quite notice it in terms of power wise, that it's probably like the perfect middle ground because you don't want a car to be too quick for the road, which I honestly think the 620S is, even though it's fantastic to drive, you can't really push it to its full limits, even if it was completely dry on a, on a main road or a B road or whatever, uh, they're like, you feel like you're more specifically built for tracking one of those but um but the 420r i feel like because it's got a slower acceleration and you can use all the revs you don't have to kind of shift through gears so quickly especially first and second which the 620s was like a millisecond during first or second gear um it definitely helps to enjoy the car and use all of its power a bit more but um but yeah no, i think the only thing i'd change would be the color but you know beggars can't be choosers as they say and I think in terms of the driving experience, you kind of almost forget what colour even it could be brown, it could be blue. <laughs> I'm not joking, I'm not going to sing that. <laughs> but yeah, it could be any colour, and I think you'd still enjoy being behind the wheel of it. Um, obviously, overloaded with carbon fibre again, bucket seats that are heated, which were ideal this morning when I left at about 4 a.m. Um, and yeah, just overall, just mega video, mega car. And next is the 420 Cup. So. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. I, I don't really know what to expect. So obviously, sequential gearbox, full roll cage, no windscreen. So kind of like 170R vibes, but just it's going to be a silly car. I, I think I'm already smiling about it because I know it's going to just blow me away. Um, and it's going to be the first time I drive a sequential gearbox car as well. So hopefully I get on with it and <laughs> I don't find it too difficult to kind of remember what gear I'm in, etc. But we'll definitely have to, to live and learn with that one. But yeah, so thanks for watching today's video. I know it's been a bit shorter than usual um, and a little bit less B-roll, etc. and driving footage, but just wanted to put something out there so there's not such a big gap on the channel and also to show that I've had the 420R because then when you come to the 420 Cup video, hopefully if you return, um, you'll kind of understand what I'm referring to, if it's completely different or if it feels the same, all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for plenty more videos to come and I'll see you again very soon.